Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I'm back again. I'm doing some experiments, so I'll be popping out a lot of videos here uh, in rapid succession because i um, got some experiments and projects going on. I've added a third battery here, which is currently not connected, and I will add this on here. But just to show you, I've got take this one off for this demonstration I've got another set of diodes here and I've got another dead very bad battery uh, I'm not gonna worry about the voltmeter for now it's probably about yeah I will for demonstration purposes the battery is at um, 1.6 volts really in bad shape but I'm only using it to show the uh, that there's no difference on power used when I connect the third coil to a third output right there now the battery just to show it is taking a charge is that in yeah it's in view it is absolutely I hope my wires are not in the way it's at 12.73 and rising so the battery is absolutely taking a charge it is a third load and there is no change on the power used. It's at 0.041. There's no change at all on the amount of power used. So that's another free output. Nothing else has changed. I just used the third unused wire. Check out my previous video if you missed it. I've hooked up the third wire and that milliamp meter is just in line with the power. I just never took it out of the circuit when I switched from using a battery to the power supply. Anyway, now check this out. I also have a one watt LED, which is going to be awkward to get in here and still connect it without shorting or frying anything but I have a one watt LED we'll try to lay on the table I've got alligator clips already connected to it I'm going to try not to let them short to anything now I'm going to connect it across the dead battery first now uh, you saw the batteries at 1.6 volts so it's obviously not going to run an LED a 12 volt LED that's a one watt 12 volt LED now I'm going to connect this here and you're going to see that LED light up at full brightness and then I'm going to disconnect the battery so there's the LED that's a 1 watt LED and it's blinding me now I'm going to disconnect now the power used in this case because I'm, I'm running an LED it did pull some more power the battery itself doesn't but it went up to 0.046 and it went up one tenth of a watt so I'm running a one watt LED with only an increase in one tenth of a watt of power now I'm going to remove the terminals from the battery so the light will go out for a second connect it back on whoops connect that LED back up to the output of the third coil all right uh, silicone cheap China wires okay that is glowing really bright that is a full power full output and it's using only one tenth of a watt nothing else changes so I think that's just really cool the power is coming from somewhere but it's not coming not too much is coming out of here again I've got a primary battery being charged through the back EMF from the coil from the primary coil I've got a second coil no other connections to it just the coil itself is going through a rectifier set to another set of batteries and a third wire not connected to anything else a third set of uh, third coil is now running a one watt LED and only drawing one tenth of a watt I can disconnect the LED of course and reconnect it to the battery the coil to the battery to be charged and you see that the power doesn't change the power being drawn does not change at all to charge that battery connecting the LED it's just one tenth of a watt which is really nothing 
that LED is full brightness. Let me reconnect the LED disconnecting the battery and then shut off the light in here and I'll show you that this is full power. It lights up the entire workbench on its own. It's a full power. Um, the camera doesn't do it justice but it is full intensity in here and using one-tenth of its normal rated power I mean only consuming that much out of the power supply where the rest of the power is coming from well you tell me